So we'll stop that recording. <laughs> Hi guys, great to be back for another week. Yep, so today we're going to be looking into narratives and social construct constructs about difference and diversity. To do this, we've chosen a topical pop culture reference that demonstrates difference. So Nat, what have you got for us today? Yeah, that's right. Uh, now, a lot of you might have heard the name Taylor Harris over the last couple of weeks. If you're not familiar with the story, basically Taylor Harris, who plays in the AFLW for Carlton, had her photo snapped as she was kicking for goal. Um, obviously, this happens a lot. Um, this photo was then posted to the 7 AFL Twitter and Instagram pages. Instead of celebrating Taylor's incredible athleticism, appalling comments on social media were directed towards, towards her by online trolls. Um, first of all, Seven took the photo down, then reposted it, um, saying that removing it sent the wrong message. In the meantime, however, there's been a massive outpouring of support for Taylor and the right of women to feel safe and respected, whatever they choose to do. That sums it up pretty nicely. Now we've chosen to discuss this issue today, not because of the image itself. The image itself isn't sexist or inappropriate. It's the response that is so worrying. As Taylor has pointed out herself, if people are behaving like this online, it's not a stretch to see them behaving in a similar manner offline. It's what these comments actually represent in society is what's important. Taylor has publicly mentioned how this incident has made her feel unsafe. She doesn't know who was sitting behind the keyboard and now who is behind the fence at the game. Good point. And personally, I think this speaks to a broader fact in society that women in general do not feel safe if they are out on their own. Whether it's the creepy guy on the train, a wolf whistle out of a car, a man walking behind them on their way home, women generally feel unsafe in a lot of situations. The messages and comments from trolls are a great demonstration of why. However, the messages that have abounded since the image was removed and reposted have been overwhelmingly positive. You're right. It has certainly generated um, a lot more interest and been viewed by more people as a result. And the conversation has turned out to be overwhelmingly positive and supportive. We've had the focus drawn back to the fact that the photo displays amazing athleticism that no one should ever be harassed in their workplace, that everyone has the right to feel safe and to basic respect, no matter their differences. Sam Lane tweeted calling out the underlying disrespect for women, linked the comments to violence against women and highlighting the extra, extraordinary role AFLW and women in sport is having in, the, in focusing on these issues. Yeah, great point. And I think the conversation this has started may have involved some people who otherwise may not have engaged with this sort of content. It's certainly influenced public values and debate all around the world. And now we're talking about the great stuff and how these sort of platforms can be used to spread such positive messages. I read an article the other day and a couple of sentences in particular stood out to me. Um, it was, the chorus of objectors crossed gender lines, sporting codes and industries. It was so substantial that as the outrage storm settled, it became clear that tolerance for such visible rank sexism is at an all-time low. Definitely think that's true. Yeah, it's a great quote. And to have a lot of influence, influential people come out and support in support of Taylor um, is really role modelling the fact that we need to celebrate diversity. Uh, we had ABC uh, Deputy Chair Dr Kristen Ferguson Okay. Um, Geelong Brownlow medalist Patrick Dangerfield was quick to support Taylor along with Sam Kerr um, and Nicole Livingston. Yeah, that's right. Um, and education is playing a huge role in challenging and changing existing perceptions and attitudes. And it's not just formal education that is doing this. So these days kids are exposed to such a wide range of media with information literally at their fingertips, and everyone within society has a responsibility to set a good example and role model good behaviours. I think Taylor has been particularly good at demonstrating a pretty dignified way of acting, and I think that's why uh, it is so important that everyone comes out to support her. Um, Taylor and the other women playing professional sport are effectively teaching kids that women can do everything that men do and deserve the same respect. Exactly. If our children, and especially young boys, are growing up with the expectation that it is normal for women to do everything men can, 
this sort of uh, predatory, disrespectful attitude will be stamped out early on and never become an issue. The more we can teach each other about respect and safety, the better. This has actually had an overwhelmingly positive effect, perhaps not on Taylor, but the support that female sport and her individually have received has been a huge benefit. Yeah, you're not wrong. All right, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for today. I hope you've enjoyed the show and thanks for listening. Tune in again next week for more contemporary issues in teaching. Yeah.